Ladies and gentlemen, Jay Heaved here. I'm at that world famous air show in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. And this is a G-M-O-M-E engine. I guess they call it GNOME, the G is silent. But this is a radial engine. This is an eight cylinder. And uh, what's interesting is if you look at these spark book wires, how that wire goes across, I guess, and then what it does is when it spins around, it gives it a spark in order to fire this. So this is uh, kind of interesting. I should say very interesting. And he uses this uh, propane as his gas tank. And the owner of this is, your name is? Bruce Kimmy. All right, Bruce, can you tell us about your motor here? Sure, this is a Gnome Rotary. Uh, all the cylinders turn. With the propeller. With the propeller. The crankshaft is fixed. It's hollow. Air, fuel, and oil come in through the crankshaft. It's a total loss oil system. All the oil that comes in goes out. We use castor oil for lubrication. Uh, puts out 125 horsepower, runs about 1100 RPM or so. So real low RPM. Real low RPM. Yeah, we got a lot of mass turning here. You can't can't turn it too fast. So how does the fuel system work on here? Okay, the fuel, is this tank is pressurized with air. There's a hand pump on the back we use for starting. So you pump that up. We've got a pressure gauge here. So we pump that up. Uh, we get ready to start. This is a mixture control, not a throttle. So uh, when he pulls the prop through and it's ready to start, if it fires, I'll bring this up to about four and a half. Good spot for it to run. And it'll continue to run there. But to get the fuel into the cylinder, it goes up, goes through a line through the hollow crankshaft to a set of fuel nozzles. And they're constantly spraying fuel. As the cylinder comes around, the cylinder comes around there's a low pressure in it, comes below a row of ports in the bottom of the cylinder. Once the piston heads below that, it sucks the fuel. Kind of like a two-stroke engine. It's similar to a two-stroke, but it is a four-stroke motor. But you don't have uh, overhead valves or no valves, just ports, right? Just ports. But the valve in the end of the piston is the intake and exhaust valve. Oh, it's double duty. I see on top there. Yeah, you yeah. got exposed valve springs on there too. Yeah. You see that right there. Yeah. It's kind of interesting so, how that works. On the exhaust stroke, valves open, pistons top dead center, pushes all the exhaust out. So, so Normally, what? the valve would close. The, this one, the valve stays open as the engine rotates around. The valve is still open. On the intake stroke, the valve's open. It's pulling fresh air in as the piston comes down. Part way down now, the piston, or the valve closes. The piston continues to come down. It makes a low pressure in the cylinder. So when it comes below that row of ports, it sucks the fuel in. So what year was this engine made? This would have been a, this is a copy of a 1915 gnome engine. 1915, huh? That's old. This one's just a few years old. It's a new manufacturer. Wow. It uh, looks great. Yep. And, uh, great. and I want to thank you for your time. Appreciate Absolutely. it.